Hi YouTube, I am back with part two of my video today, my watercolor comparison, where I am doing a study of cherries. So I am getting set up. I like to use my heavy duty paper towels until they fall apart. Okay, and today I will be using the Koi watercolors as I stated in my previous video. Right here, these are M. Graham watercolors that I have in the lid here, but these are my Koi watercolors which I will be using today. Okay, I'll figure it out as I go. See, I need a little. I have a um a little storage caddy on my desk, so it's hard for me to push things back. That takes up some of my extra space. So here goes. And I like for everything to be in view. Really, this is the only one that really needs to be in frame today. So I'll check to make sure it is. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's decent enough. Okay. All right, I am ready to get started. And then this is a bigger palette, so it's not, um, maybe if I turn this this way. Since I won't be using that part, push these up here. Okay, I think I figured it out. Okay, I'll just keep these up here until I'm ready to each brush. I didn't have my eyes on yesterday, but I figured I'll use them today. Make sure my brush is fully clean. And I do need to spray these because Koi watercolors are dry watercolors, so I will spray them.
in the background playing with her bells. I don't like having her out when I'm filming because I don't want her to accidentally eat paint or put something in her mouth that she shouldn't. So that's why um, when I'm filming, she's mainly in her cage. looking quite purple so I'm going to drop in a little more blue I think I'm going to lighten the blue a little let me just drop a little in there Okay, that's looking pretty good. So I will let this dry and because I'm only doing one section today I will pause a bit. Yeah, 
pause. Yeah, I'm gonna pause because even if I try to start with this cherry here, it's gonna run into the color here. So I'm gonna pause a little bit and then come back once this is dry. Okay, and I am back. The background, it has dried. So I'm ready to move on with the rest.
Okay, so since I'm painting this one and not jumping back and forth, I have to keep taking brief pauses in order to let it dry. So I'm going to let these dry because the sections are too close. And if I continue on, some of the other sections will begin to run into each other. I, I cannot paint the back of the cherries because they're going to run into here. Or this one, if I paint the back of this one, it's going to run into here. So I have to allow these to dry down and, and I'll be back shortly. Okay guys, I am back and I am going to try to go ahead on and finish up now because as I said, this is just a study. It's not a, um, a final art piece. So I'm going to go ahead on and get into the final stretch of this and finish this last one. Okay guys, I'm not sure how much I missed but... Um, I noticed that I forgot to press record for some of it and I missed out on, I'm not exactly sure how much I missed out on, but I'm going to go ahead on and touch this up and, and finish this painting and then give you a up close look at it so I can finally do a final comparison of everything. And I'm not going to push these too much because there's only so many layers I can do with, um, with Koi watercolors. Because after the second layer, it begins to feel like it's too much. And the paint is actually moving. The, uh, the, the under layers are not secure they're moving so I'm just going to go right in with this only because I want to go in on and finish up Okay, so They are all done. So I will go ahead and remove this tape. And give you a better look at each one. Let you see them up close. Okay, guys, so I am finished with this study and I had a lot of fun doing this. I must say that Koi was a very poor performer in my opinion because you can see all of the pigment sitting on top of the paper and as I was trying to paint with it the under layers were moving which is a, a known flaw of Koi and Koi is a, a watercolor that I really 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 
wanted to love mainly because of the packaging the packaging is is really nice i love the sturdiness of their cases but um i'm quite pleased with both the praying and the arteza i'm i almost feel like arteza really won the challenge um holbein did pretty well but if you you can see that there are pigments sitting on top of the paper just as with koi the same as um the koi and that is because they are dry cake colors but holbein i know it is perform it does perform better than the koi watercolors so this has been a lot of fun and just let me know if you would like for me to do something like this again and until next time guys thank you so much for watching